by the way don't mind my hair in this video <laughs> hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna be talking to you about emergency funds and why you should start one now especially since this situation has happened i'm gonna start doing many videos based on your finances and tell you what i'm personally doing and why i'm doing them so i really hope this video helps you and if it does please don't forget to give it the thumbs up and subscribe that lets me know that you like these types of videos so i'll keep doing them and it also supports my channel and i always appreciate that so the reason i'm talking about emergency funds is obviously because of the pandemic and everything going on it sort of made me realize how important it is to have some money set aside just in case the unexpected happens and something like this you would never believe would ever happen and this emergency fund will allow you to live for at least three months if the unexpected happens basically like an insurance policy i feel like when it comes to say if you lost your job god forbid or if your boiler breaks or something that's quite expensive then you have that money to cover it and you don't have to then get a credit card or take a loan out and pay interest it's just there and you can just pay for it so having a solid plan in place is so important because emergencies will come eventually so you'll always feel like relaxed and be like oh it doesn't matter if that did happen because i have this money set aside so it gives you a sense of like i don't know if you have anxiety like me it makes you just more chilled about everything like i've only just started my saving um but already i feel way better so an emergency fund essentially is a bank account that has your emergency fund in it and it will cover stuff like unexpected medical expenses say if you did want to go private um i know people that have gone private because it's quicker it might be a serious illness etc for me, health is everything. Health is wealth. A home appliance repair. Say if you do have a leak or the boiler's broken or your electrics need to be rewired inside the wall, something like that would be quite expensive and you have the money to cover it. Or if you've got a car and something's happened to it and you need to fix it, um, instead of using your insurance, a lot of people don't like doing that, you could cover that. Or, God forbid, you lost your job. And I just want to say as well, before you start your emergency funds, you need to make sure you're ready. So if you have a credit card with interest that you need to pay off, an unauthorised overdraft, payday loans, arrears in your mortgage payments, anything like that, I would pay that off first. Anything that's giving you interest and you've got to pay every month, that isn't going to help you save as quickly. So you should be keeping up with your mortgage payments or your rent and any sort of credit card you have is at a low cost. Or like me, my credit card is like 0% interest so it's a really low rate um, and that's why I'm starting my emergency fund and I'm putting it ahead of my credit card because it's 0% um, and if the worst comes to the worst, I can always pay it off or transfer it onto another 0% interest credit card. I have done a video by the way about managing your finances so please check it out so if you do have a credit card that is accumulating interest um you could always transfer it to a zero percent interest credit card and then you don't have to pay interest and just pay it off for like 36 months normally or 24 months so basically your finances should be under control before you start your emergency fund so the first thing i would do is i'll calculate how much emergency fund i'd need people tend to have an emergency fund of three to six months i'm aiming to have three months so it's totally up to you and i think the emergency fund depends on each individual so if you was to lose your job for instance your necessities your bills that needs to be covered while you find a new one and that gives you plenty of time to find a new one too because you've got three months to find one i think if it was just a month there would be a lot of pressure and a month goes really quickly but i think three months is a good time limit to give yourself to find a good job so if you spend roughly about a thousand pounds on rent or your mortgage and your bills things you can't really live without i would then save three thousand pounds for me i'm doing three months and all of my mortgage my bills everything will be within that three months and that will be saved and put away you can always top this up as well and add more whatever you want and you can always have savings accounts for different things if you wanted to too so the next thing i do is set a monthly saving goal and you need to get into the habit of saving and you know me i love a bit of saving so i feel like this is a really good exercise to do to get you in the habit of saving money and it doesn't necessarily need to be for a house or anything like that but as I said, you never know what's gonna happen, so it's so important. And one way you can automatically do this is by setting up a direct debit. So every time you get paid, you automatically transfer an amount of money 
to your emergency fund account. And I would say as well, when you're starting out and you're saving, saving small and regular is more effective than saving a large amount and then thinking, oh, I don't have enough money for the next months. And this also gets you into the saving habit and it doesn't become overwhelming for you because if you're not used to saving and you're saving a large amount of money every month, you might not feel like committing to it. Um, and you can always top it up. So say if you did just put £100 a month, and you got towards the end of the month and you saw that you had another £400, you can always transfer that into your um, account, especially in the beginning. But obviously if you can, put more in and then it's over and done with quicker and then it's there and then you haven't got to keep saving. But I always think it's a good thing to keep saving even when you have nothing really to save for. Because as I say, you never know. And I feel like rainy day money before was more popular and spoken about, whereas now no one really talks about saving money for a rainy day and it's so important as you know from this situation and also if you're moving money automatically it saves you checking all the time and thinking oh i need to transfer the money it's just done and you haven't got to think about it also while you're doing this i would assess and adjust the contribution so so in a few months time i would look and see how much i have and think okay can i actually add more to this can i afford to and one thing you know i always talk about is selling your stuff so you can sell stuff you don't want so you can sell your unwanted goods online and then use that money to top it up and add more to it that's what i'm personally doing at the moment as well like for me i wouldn't even notice the stuff had left so yeah you're decluttering your home and also you're adding some money to your emergency fund which is a great thing other things you can do as well is cut costs like do you really need sky you might overdo it on the biscuits and the chocolate, etc. I know it's something that I do. So try and avoid like these little things that you buy because they do add up. They really, really do. So all them little things that you spend your money on could be going towards your emergency fund. And trust me, when something does happen and you need the money, you will really wish that you didn't buy all them little things because they won't mean anything to you. So try and control yourself when it comes to buying stuff that you don't really need. I also would advise to put your emergency fund in an accessible place because if you put it in like an ISA account or somewhere where you may be charged to take your money out or it's not easy to get out you're not meant to get it out for another year that's not really an emergency you need to put it somewhere perhaps it may have a low interest but the fact is is that you've saved that money and you can take it out whenever there is an emergency because anything can happen at any time and I'd say the hardest part of saving is sticking to a plan so once you've decided how much you're going to save every month as I say you can even start off small make sure you stick to it and remember as well you are going to be tempted to use that money for a vacation or a car or whatever it is that you want at that moment and you just have to sort of control yourself and also think okay maybe i'll save a separate savings account for them things and i think it's really important to have savings accounts for specific things because then obviously an emergency fund is for an emergency a holiday isn't an emergency buying a car isn't an emergency um, and you may think, well, I'm going to be paying interest if I use my credit card, where that might indicate that you can't afford to go on that holiday or you can't afford to buy that car. Um, and many people I know buy a car on finance anyway, so often that's how it is. But then you have to think, how will that fit into my monthly outgoings can i afford it the whole point of this really is to prevent you from getting into debt and many people find it really challenging to live below their means most people live the opposite and live above their means and take money out on loans credit cards to live a lifestyle that they haven't really earned and i've spoken about this before that it's sort of a culture of ours that we want to appear rich or we want to appear that we have a lot of things so then we buy things to show that but really in reality we don't actually own anything and we are like trying to make ends meet every single month and if you cannot save for an emergency fund it probably means you cannot afford all these things that you are buying on your credit card honestly having an emergency fund is so liberating and i've spoke to you about this before that the only person you can truly depend on is yourself and you shouldn't be thinking about well my family will bail me out or my friends will bail me out so hard when you're younger to shift from a child almost you know if sometimes if we're in our like early 20s we still we still see ourselves as like young but we sort of need to realize that we are an adult now and we need to take responsibility for ourselves and this is something that's really responsible and it's something that people don't talk about a lot i know back in the day people used to have a rainy day money and i get that i think it's the same thing you don't know what can happen bad things happen to everyone the government or insurance policies or plain luck 
that nothing's going to happen to you like people tend to just rely on that and that's not really realistic and it's not being responsible for yourself and once you have met your target you can then relax and also you can start saving for something else because you'll be in the habit of it now and thinking this is actually a really good thing even if it's a little amount put aside every month for your holiday or your car or whatever it is that you want you'll be so used to saving by then that it will just be normal to you and you're just gonna be like loving life honestly even me i've just started saving and i feel so much better already like i feel so good when i get paid and i put money in my savings account i don't know if it's just me but it's something i love um and i'm sure you're gonna love it too and i really hope anyone that's watching me anyone that's subscribed to me i hope this video helps you and as i always say to you anything that i do I will tell you and then it's up to you whether or not you want to do it or not but i really suggest this especially if you've got a family or you're on your own like myself and you have no one to rely on something to really think about creating especially in the time like this because we don't really need to spend our money on anything right now it's the best time to start saving like i'm saving nearly half of my salary again because i have nowhere to go so yeah if you can do that do that i really hope this video helped you if it did please don't forget to like the video and subscribe I genuinely appreciate it as always and I'll see you in my next video.